What's going on guys, Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and welcome back to yet another tutorial on BitShift registers. In this example, as you can see, the only thing that I've modified is essentially uh, changing this BitShift left, which you've seen in the previous video to this BitShift right. And the reason why I've done the BitShift left first is essentially because the BitShift left is a bit more intuitive to understand because you have an integer which is essentially growing and you can see the bits uh, shifting all the way to the end of that integer. As you will see with the bit shift right, that's no longer the case and it becomes a little bit more confusing just because uh, of the way things shift and you start having things appear in the middle of your integer. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So observe this B390 that we've used before. And um, so our length now is five. So do pay attention to that number. As soon as I talk, as soon as I toggle this bit, you will know you will notice that the first, essentially the first binary number which started to change is the fifth bit of that integer. And essentially what's happening right now is that as you remember in bit shift left, we started at the beginning of our integer. In this case, the length essentially determines the starting point and everything goes shifting to the right. Uh, let me show you this once again. So if I toggle this back to zeros, as you can see, we're filling in zeros. And if I toggle this again, the first bit is going to be this uh, fourth bit in our integer. And of course, it's shifting to the right. And do notice that if the length is five, then we are in the fourth uh, bit, which is starting from zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, which is the fifth bit uh, within that integer, essentially. Um, the other thing that you need to notice is that if you change this length, so for example, if I set this to 10, all of a sudden, we're starting to shift into these this bit number nine, or the 10th bit within that same uh, integer value. And this can become like I said, this is a little bit more confusing than the other one, because it's essentially shifting from the point of your length. And it can it can become even more confusing if the length starts to overlap multiple multiple integers. So let's for example, look at something like 45, which uh, essentially becomes really difficult to calculate, but it becomes the 12th uh, the bit number 12 of this B392. But of course, you can calculate, you can divide this 45 divided by 16. And then whatever the remainder is, that's going to be your first um, bit within the uh, integer, which doesn't have a whole value of 16. And as you can see, things are shifting. Let's toggle this back to zero just to have some kind of a space and you can notice it traveling through all the way. And let's retoggle that back on, uh, on a one. And as you can see, we are now using this B390, 91 and 92. And this is going to go all the way down to uh, B390, bit number zero. However, like I said, it does start at this very unusual uh, spot, which is going to be this B392 slash 12 bit. Um, and the reason why you might do something like this, uh, from what I've seen in some pieces of equipment uh, in OEMs is that they would always have the reject station at this bit zero, and then we, they would essentially calculate backwards in order to uh, create certain defects. So for example, um, you know, instead of on the other example where you have the bit shift left and at your zero is where you start detecting the products and at a random other uh, essentially bit, you can have your reject station here. You always have a very determined uh, point that you make, which is going to be that your rejects are always going to be at that reject station zero and whatever you put in here is going to be so for example, you could have these ones going into this shift register at all times. And then you could have a certain inspection station. So for example, you could create this B3919, uh, where you would uh, essentially lower that bit. And that's where your reject station is going to be. And of course, if it's a zero, then it's a bad product. If it's a one, it's a good product. And then you shift all the way back to this B390, in uh, which case you reject, uh, you reject the bad product and you keep the good product going. So hopefully that explains the bit shift right uh, instruction and makes it very clear what it is doing. Once again, the length is very important to pay attention to because in this case, we are shifting all the way from that starting point, uh, unlike the bit shift left, the file is going to dictate the final point or the final destination of our bits. Control register, same as bit shift left, that is something that you need to specify. And there's a couple of bits that you can look at. So for now, uh, of course, the done and the enable bits are the critical ones. 
and the bit address is the bit which you are essentially uh, quote unquote shoving into the first address of your shift register and allowing it to shift all the way through. And once again, really quickly, so if we put in the zero, as you can see, this bit becomes zero every time our shift register shoves in a value and it becomes a one if this value is one. So of course you can put in a one or a zero just like the bit shift left. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.